Okay, so I am doing a iron macro infusion treatment on this pin oak tree as you see here. Uh, the foliage, I would describe it as brown, um, chlorotic. Uh, you can kind of see here if I can grab one of these leaves here. The foliage just has a lot of spotting on it. Um, this is all essentially indicative of anthracnose, which is a leaf fungus disease, and obviously iron chlorosis. So it looks like we got a little bit of uh, shot hull leaf miner insect damage on there. So these trees can really be challenged because of how tall they are uh, to have like insecticide sprays or fungicide sprays on them. Most people don't do them. Um, but there's cases like this one where this iron macro infusion treatment can be the best option for the tree. So essentially what's happening here is I have my, uh, my pump here. Uh, this actually turns this way and you can pump this down and pump uh, the pressure through the lines. Uh, right here we have a PSI reader, although it doesn't seem that it's working right now, but I can definitely tell that there's PSI going through the system based on uh, having put a, pulled out one of the T's uh, and um, experienced the, the pressure uh, to, in order to get the air out. I just kind of gently will kind of pull this out a little bit just to get the air bubbles out of there. Uh, and it won't actually spill that much product. So it's a good thing to do. Uh, but as you can see, I have a lot of different teas going to this tree. And each one of these I drilled with my DeWalt drill. And from what I'm experiencing about these types of treatments, these are best done when the tree has or at the lower parts of the tree. So I dug this out before previously for this client uh, because we had uh, some uh, similar types of treatments, um, probably a systemic uh, soil treatment on this tree. Um, so I'll let this go here for quite a while. Sometimes these treatments take hours of time and um, you know, I'll go ahead and and wait this one out and wait until I start seeing bubbles in this line, air pockets, and that's how I know it's done. Uh, this particular tree uh, probably had around uh, about 15 packets of, of iron uh, put into this container here, and then about a gallon to a gallon and a half of water for this treatment. And these treatments are supposed to be the best treatments there are for pin oak trees uh, here in Indiana and for iron chlorosis on pin oak trees. So if uh, you're interested in, in getting this system, they sell it online and um, I think it would be definitely good for your pin oak trees for sure. All right, well, that's it. And thank you and have a good day.